bring here in a second. Game with and Destination Gaming. Yep. We should see some Tornado. I would expect to see Tornado here. We could see just about anything else as well. But Tornado is almost a given when it's not banned. Well, yeah, we'll see the waiting. OK, there's a mic. <laughs> Miner comes in pretty awkwardly there with the negative energy there to limit the damage. And let's start off the Wise Wizard on the right side. Ice Wizard. No, but on the right side. Why yeah. on the right side? Yeah, that's interesting because, OK, look at this. Detonation pulling out Ponos' bag of tricks here using the Golem Prince beatdown. Now, this is important. Was that just a mistake coming in? Ooh, rocket. Yeah, we see the rocket. And you can look at that Ice Wizard doing a little bit of damage, but I'm sure that wasn't the intention when it was first summoned out. So. Ooh, a Prince of their own. So it might just be another uh, beatdown deck on the other side, but this Infernal Dragon is still making it very much a hassle here. And the uh -oh. Infernal Dragon does get targeted uh, by the the Prince's Tower, but still very late on the reaction in terms of Fireball, so it takes a lot of damage, 1933 on the first push. Yeah, so, so far the first push doing just a little bit more damage to the left-hand side for Detonation. A decent little push there, but that Rage really didn't do much. Yeah, I would have to say that Ice Wizard on that first try going on the right side was definitely a mistake. Yeah. I think they wanted to get on the left side. Makes a lot of sense against the gold push, but... Might have been a misdrop. Yeah, it might have just been. Double golem. <laughs> okay, so that bridge is that's not a mistake. That's Can that bridge not. hold that much rock? I don't know. And, and I don't going, know, Joel. It's, it's taking one at a time. <laughs> it's gonna be. It's gonna go in order just to make sure it doesn't clog up the lane. But <laughs> now we're still moving through here, and it seems like the rocket Ooh. once again very good value going towards just the infernal dragon. So not the best value as we kind of expected from that one. But that one little golem is still moving on. It's gonna do a lot of damage here. Oh. Push the tornado. Very good. Very good. Good. Pulls it in the King Tower, activates it. Guards coming down for defense here as well. But two of the guards actually end up kind of going up to the north, unfortunately, for for uh, detonation there. Yeah, but we know uh, it's so appropriate when you see a golem just stranded all by itself, naked golem with no support. You just tornado that all the way to King's Tower. And it makes it so easy, especially with a 2v2 game where the King's Tower is a lot closer to the Prince's Tower. So now we know the situation that the King's Tower has opened up. So extra defense are being supported by Game With Now. Yes. We get to see the wizard there. Not too often we get to see him in Clash Royale. And he did a very nice job taking out that baby uh, dragon. But copying cats. Yeah. Oh, here we go. OK, the rage coming in. This is going to be interesting. Double Mega Minion here from Detonation and to try to protect zap. this. Good zap just to limit both the Infernal Dragons that were trying to get uh, the damage through to the Golem. Then as long as you get a good defense in from here, it seems like 4 Oh, look 16. at this Miner. Oh, this Rocket is going to get the job done. And Miner's going through, and it seems like as long as we see a pretty good defense from this one, I don't think that Game Witch should get this game here. And one second, and that will wow. be Detonation Gaming picking up the win with 400 HP uh, left on the left side. Yeah, really nice stuff there from Detonation Gaming. I don't think I ever saw a tornado from them even. I didn't. Just a rage. Uh, yeah, was kind of their primary spell that yeah. really made all the difference here. Yeah, no snowballs, no fireballs, maybe? They used rocket. They were using rocket yeah. to take out the Inferno Dragons. And eventually the tower. Yeah. yeah, and eventually yeah. the tower as well. So we thought that that 446 elixir tree wasn't the best yeah. for Detonation Gaming initially when they were going for those. But uh, Infernal Dragon, having it and not having it on the goal and push does make the world of a difference. And yeah. we have to maybe mention that that 446 tray was maybe a little bit beneficial towards Detonation Gaming in the end because they did win the game in the end here. Yeah, you started to feel like Detonation might lose it because Game With had that push with those two golems multiple times, and it looked like those push pushes would do so much damage, and they did quite a bit of damage, but they were able to defend it just well enough and use those rockets offensively in the end to secure the victory. Now our favorites coming in from game with losing this game one does get us a little bit shaken here as to what we can expect out of them in the game two, and we're still under this first set. Anything could happen from here, but altogether, we are now moving on to game two with a lot of question marks as to game with. Are they actually going to lose to Detonation Gaming 2-0 to zero here? Right, they lost to five last week, so are they going to go down again and get upset again here in Season 2? That'd be a shocker. Uh, yeah. It absolutely will be, Paper Thin. And we'll see if this comes through here. Of course, the Ice Spirit start us off. For CRL Asia on the side of Game With. Yeah. We're seeing the minor move it. Of course, the, the Mega Mini will do a good job. And now we see the giant skeleton just okay. hopping onto its own end. Trying to do a lot of damage towards that golem push here. Yeah, will we see the Royal Giant follow it up on Mega Minion of their own to deal with the other Mega Minion? The Giant Skeleton, nice, you know, nice to have against a golem because that bomb does so much damage. Oh, Inferno, Inferno Tower, Tower as great. well. 
Ooh, but it get the golem got outside of the bomb damage thanks to that Infernal Dragon and the Mega Minion. But it got a little bit of the Infernal Dragon, so that gets it away. So now this push once again coming through with the golem and the e -Wiz, So still very much a question mark as to what game was brought down there uh, for their own win condition, but still a question that we're looking for answers to here in Paper Thin, and we'll see what the results to here. Yeah, the bats can zap, the fireball comes in. This is looking like a decent push here from Detonation. They have to counter with the giant skeleton. The Valkyrie's still in there. The Inferno Dragon's locked on to the giant skeleton, but it's taken down. The giant skeleton, though, just making sure that nothing gets in the way, can't get past. Uh, that giant skeleton, and now we're gonna see the Mega Minion just chomping away. Yep. Minion is gonna be coming in. We'll see what re results to in terms of damage and there's a little tornado. But careless in terms of that minor positioning, and now gonna open up the King's Tower. You never want to put it uh, right on the back of the tower, but just wanted to be less predictable. If you were to sign a game win. Yeah, it, Detonation did predict the first couple minor positionings with those Mega Minions and took down the minor pretty quickly. So once again, we're seeing this Golem Prince deck that Detonation lost to against Bono, so they're stealing it. Right? If it worked for them, it can work for us. It really is, and now we're gonna see this come through. The Infernal, Dra uh, Infernal Tower is gonna be taken out by the Rockets. So pretty good train out there, so Bolin oh, cool. is gonna get the explosion damage in a little bit late, but it does open the King's Tower already regardless here. Yep, yep, a good tornado again to open up the King Tower. Valkyrie's still alive, dropping more Golems, so both teams just trying to get one of these oh. Golem pushes to go through. There you go, that's what you gotta do. Good minor position there, reverse psychology, just to make sure you think that you're gonna put the Miner on the back side, just put it on the front side this time, and guess is wrong uh, for the side of the Detonation game. Yep, okay, this time, much better placement with the Giant Skeleton here. It's gonna be on the back, and Executioner comes in as well to clean up these bats and start doing some damage to the Giant Skeleton. Two Golems, though, on top of that Inferno Tower. Inferno Tower is still moving on here, and the explosion is going to be good enough, but the second golem is still well on its way, and it seems like Tornado is going to be the last resort here, but can they get more out of this, because the Golemites are still pushing in, and it seems like they're going to defend this quite well for now, but 13-20, and downing down a little bit more here, and uh, the Valkyrie and the Prince oh, double miner. The double miner, you do say, is putting a lot of work into this, and 534, that was a lot of investment. Do they have anything to defend against this? Yeah, I'm not so sure. It's going to be tough to take down this tower. On the, the left-hand side, yeah. Okay, oh, the, the King's Tower doing so much work here, Paper Thin. We talk about Prince barely going down because of the extra support coming in uh, from the King's Tower. And the Miner, once again, gets wrong to here. And that's going to be what a trouble here. 53 down and one more Miner. That's going to do it. And then Yurihiro Maturatsu for game with gets that game two victory. Yep, changing things up just a little bit there. That Inferno Tower was actually kind of a big deal because it slows down those golems so much as long as as well as with the ice wizard yes, between wizard, those two things yeah that that just makes that already slow unit so much slower great synergy coming in from the infernal tower and also the ice wizard that's something i really want to mention as well because i think that was a key change up i really slowed down the golem push and as long as the main golem not the golemites make it to the tower that's not going to be as uh, dangerous of a push as you think for that eight elixirs it's all about getting that golem to the tower and making sure that explosion damage goes all the way through through uh, to that tower, which does hundreds of damage and can be very crucial. Yeah, absolutely. So, really nice stuff there. But I think the biggest story of what we're seeing here is the minor usage from teams like GameWin yeah. and, you know, Ponos. We saw it in the last game. Their, their minor usage is really actually making the difference. These teams are pretty even with their golem trades. We see that they, you know, they're able to get in, do a little bit of damage. You know, uh, Detonation using that rage to try to push that those golems forward because they do get a little faster with the rage. But these miners are really where the, the story is. And really just mixing things up in terms of positioning was the most important thing. Just tricking out uh, the other side of Detonation Gaming with those miners. Of course, opening up the King's Tower a little bit halfway through that game. But really didn't matter when the miner was going to be guessed wrong every single time thereafter uh, by Detonation Gaming. Meaning that you're going to take a couple of those hundreds of damages each time that three elixir miner does come to your side. Yeah, exactly, Joel. So both teams getting ready for the deciding game of the set. We're going to our game three. Will they just keep using the same decks? I mean, basically, Detonation has gone with the Golem uh, Prince, you know, kind of combination with and e Rage and, and Rage. Exactly. Yeah, Rage is a very important part of that too. Will they change it up a little bit? We did see one little wrinkle in their deck this time where they did uh, opt to use Tornado, and they had a Wizard in there. It only got dropped yeah. once, but that Wizard got fireballed right out the <laughs> right out the bat. So. <laughs> It didn't get to do much except take a few shots at a baby dragon. Of course, we know that the wizard does not die immediately to the uh, 
to the Fireball, but at least a little bit of damage taken by that Wizard, and it does go down to the Fireball immediately. So now you want to make sure if you're Dead Nation Gaming, mix things up a little bit, because now you're starting to be a little bit more predictable. Game with definitely has you figured out. We can tell that from that game to performance, and we'll see what this all means. Of course, using a Miner of their own here to start off this game. Yep, Very guards. nice prediction. Yep. Very nice job with the guards. No damage to their tower. Leading with the Valkyrie, a counter Valkyrie. Okay, Lumberjack this time from Detonation to counter that Miner. That might be another goal to push here. I have to just think with that Lumberjack, but you can see from here, obviously with the log and the bats, it's going to be good enough uh, to take down. Uh, that Lumberjack charging in from the back, and it's going to even do a little bit of damage uh, with that one bat taking a bite out of that Princess Tower on the top. <laughs> so an Ice Wizard and an Inferno Dragon here for Detonation Gaming. So they like the Ice Wizard as well. Ice Spirit gonna get they shot. They like it a lot. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna get shot, but he's gonna jump on that Ice Wizard anyway. Ooh, okay, so a giant, okay, here's ah. that giant skeleton, Royal Royal Giant. Royal Giant, that's the key strategy here being planned now. We know oh, the no. Infernal Tower does so, so much towards the Royal Giant, making sure it doesn't even target towards the Princess Tower, and that is an absolute tragedy if you are the sign of Lewis and Koo. Yeah, absolutely. Lewis and Koo gotta have an Electro Wizard or something like that in the bag here to deal with that Inferno Tower or else this push with the Giant Skeleton and the Royal Giant just isn't going to be effective. Seems like the Miners uh, and also uh, we'll talk about that Tornado very nicely now once again to open up the King's Tower. The Manning Minion will also be aggroed away by these guards but we do go back to the phase where the Inferno Tower is so crucial in terms of defense uh, over to the Royal Giant which seems like their main win condition here for the Detonation game. Yeah, absolutely. A good job by them with it. It is very strong against a lot of these like beat down or thicker decks that you're going to see because the Royal Hogs and the Cannon Cart got banned. So there's a lot of beefy cards that teams are going to be relying on. We'll see what this all translates to. Of course, a heavy push coming once again. Can they get more out of this? As long as the Infernal Tower can track towards. <laughs> and look at that prediction. That was just very, very cute coming in from that side. You knew. That Miner. Well, the Miner was trying to get in the hacks, uh, trying to go for that. But uh, we still see the Royal Giant very limited towards only a couple of shots here. And that's not good news if that six elixirs only gets you about a couple hundred damage. Yeah, so interestingly enough, we're getting the bomb tower here coming down for defense. The miner. From Nation Gaming. Yeah, the miner's doing so much damage again. The Ice Wizard slowing down the Mega Minion so, so much, and we know what that oh. means. And that's going to be more and more crucial damage that's going to be hurting to it here. 249 once again, we're just waiting for a giant skeleton of their own. And now the Infernal Tower ready to charge the Lord, and this is going to be trouble once again. The Royal Giant has nothing to shoot at other than the Infernal Tower. Yeah, it did get pushed back, so it wasn't in Infernal Tower range. So this time, the Royal Giant's going to get a few shots in, but a nice fireball. So much value in that fireball. With that Ice Spirit just splitting it for that one second, it's crucial enough. And we're going to see the Miner not do a very good job here on the side of Detonation Gaming, but on the side of Game With, the double poison will get the job done. No time to react. But Detonation Gaming losing Game 1. They do come back in Game 2 and 3, and now Game With is going to win Set 2. Yep, 